हेलो फ्रेंड्स यूपीएससी इंजीनियरिंग सर्विसेज 2017 मेंस एग्जाम इज वेरी क्लोज ओनली टू वीक्स आर लेफ्ट एंड द एस्पिरेंट्स मस्ट बी फीलिंग प्रेशर एंड द प्रेशर ऑफ एग्जाम एंड इट इज ऑब्वियस दैट एवरीवन हु इज राइटिंग हु इज फेसिंग द एग्जाम विल बी हैविंग सर्टेन काइंड ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस इन द माइंड एंड प्रेशर इन द माइंड आई हैव रिसीव्ड मोर देन 200 मेल्स एंड इन दीस मेल्स द क्वेश्चंस आर रिलेटेड टू द एग्जाम and the students are worried about the ki how i should appear recently upsc has notified ki this year the main examination will be conducted on qcab question come answer booklet series what is this what will be the difference in this year as compared to the last year these are the certain questions which i would like to answer so i have screened out 8 to 10 mails which i felt ki these are important i should answer so that the students can be benefited and in the last moment you can uh, take the help from this my lecture and uh, you can optimize your studies well, i am taking the first question ki sir what is the qcab question come answer booklet series then let me tell you qcab is nothing but a answer booklet in which question is already printed and you have to write the answer on the specific place what is going to happen here ki there will be the fixed a space in which you have to write and if you make a mistake if you are not able to complete your answer in the designated space then there will be a trouble so the precaution you have to take is that ki you must uh, restrict your answer in the specific or specified word limit the second question is that ki there will be questions of 5 marks 10 marks 15 marks and 20 marks and maybe more than this then how much we should write and what is the correct approach then here i would like to tell you if it is a 5 marks theoretical question i think around 100 words are enough if it is a 10 marks question then around 150 to 200 words are needed and if it is more than 10 marks so let us say 15 marks then near about 250 to 300 words are required and so on when you see what the upsc is likely to give for 5 marks question there may be one page which will be prescribed if it is a 10 mark question there may be two pages which may be given to you so accordingly you have to manage and it is not the simply words ki how many words you are writing the important is what is your answer what is your facts presentation and how much diagrammatical you have given the support so you need to give your answer very systematic question is that ki should i use the blue color or black color or can i use the any other color in the answer writing then my suggestion is that use only blue and black pen and is uh, pencil also you can use to draw the diagram draw the free hand sketch diagram no need to waste your time in making the diagram more and more neat and clean yes it should be understandable and you should draw it freely and you should save your time and you should maintain the speed and accuracy both one student is asking ki sir this year the conventional questions are of conventional papers are of 300 uh, plus 300 600 marks whereas till last year it was of only 200 plus 200 400 marks so what will be the difference i will suggest you here obviously 600 marks more weightage the importance of mains examination is definitely more than the last year's pattern so you need to take precaution and especially in the last two weeks you need to focus on your revision and in last moment it is not advisable to read the new concept and new syllabus and new textbooks so revise solve previous year's papers and give some practice test make rehearsal and improve your deficiency maintain the speed the next question is ki should we prefer theoretical question or should we prefer numerical problem here i would suggest you as far as possible numerical questions should be answered if you get a choice ki you can either choose theoretical or you can choose the numerical and if you feel in numerical answer you are comfortable i will suggest you to go for the numerical answer it is not like theoretical answers are not good and you won't get marks but yes the chances are more that ki if you do correct numerical answer then you will get the better marks one more question which i would like to take here the student is asking ki sir i have written all these steps but in last step i have made mistake and my answer is not correct So will i get marks or not i would like to tell you here accuracy is at most needed but yes if your concepts are correct you have given most of these steps then you may get some marks 
But if in the last moment you have made a mistake and that mistake results in the wrong answer, I think marks are very less or nominal. So I suggest you to be accurate and if it is a theoretical question, you will get marks. But if it is a numerical problem and you have made a mistake and answer is wrong, I think there are very rare chance and very less marks you may get and depending upon where is the mistake and what is the type of mistake. Draw the correct diagram, give the correct calculation, take precaution. Instead of selecting, uh, instead of attempting all the questions, you need to attempt uh, those which you are more comfortable and you can solve with the accuracy. One more question which has been asked over the mail is there, what should be our strategy during the exam? Here I want to tell you, the most important is selection of the questions. Okay. Out of all questions, which are those which you would like to answer? Initially, 5 to 10 minutes you can give for reading the questions and just tick mark okay, this these are the questions which i will answer and this will be the sequence of my answer start with that question where you feel most comfortable where you are most confident you should not waste your time and important is that you start with the question which is less time taken don't initially attempt those questions which are time taken and lengthy and if you fail any trouble, if you face any trouble, that may result and lead you in trouble again. Last question, which I am taking, is a student is writing, should what should we do in the last moment? Then I want to suggest you here, that in last moment you have to focus on revision. Do not try to read the new areas and new books and new books and new texts. It is the time for revision. Yes, go for the rehearsal of questions, solve them. Previous year exams' ke questions ko bhi solve kariye. Appear in the test series, make the your assessment and ensure that you don't make the mistakes. You ensure that you don't commit the mistakes. Is tarah ki koi baat na ho jo aapko harm kare. Confidence level achha rakho. Padhte samay revision pe focus rakho. Chote chote spells bana karke padhai karo aur apne din mein aap kai spells rakho kyunki number of subjects last moment mein bahut zyada ho jate hain. Sabhi subjects ko revision mein lana hai. Isliye ek se zyada subjects ek din mein padhai karo, revision karo. और अपनी फिजिकल फिटनेस को साथ में इंटीग्रेट करके आपने अपने खाने के जो दिनचर्या है आप उसका और फूडिंग हैबिट्स अच्छा करके और आप एक फिट रह करके फिजिकल फिटनेस के साथ मेंटल फिटनेस को इंप्रूव करके पढ़ाई करो सो इन दिस लास्ट मोमेंट यू हैव टू अप्रोच इट डोंट टेक एनी एक्स्ट्रा प्रेशर जस्ट राइट द एग्जाम विद द रिलैक्स माइंडसेट एंड परफॉर्म टू द बेस्ट ऑफ योर एफर्ट्स रेस्ट लिव ऑन टू योर द फ्यूचर व्हाट विल हैपन इट विल हैपन फॉर गुड एंड I wish you all the best. For more details, visit www.madeeasy.in.